Hails and horns, everybody. Welcome back to the Abyss. And today we're going to be talking about the new EP from Revenge Prevails. All right, like I said, we are going to kind of break down and dive into and do a quick review for Jaws of Janos by Revenge Prevails. Um, if you've watched this channel for a while, you know that um, I've showed this band and talked about this band quite a bit. Um, Revenge Prevails is a melodic a black and death metal band out of Gotland, Sweden. Um, before this album, they have had uh, a few releases. I believe the demo came out in 2013. I don't have a physical of that as that one sold out pretty quick. Um, but since then, their full lengths, they have Dark Trembling Solace. Um, this one came out in 2015 and you know, might be my favorite release of theirs. And it's pretty aggressive, pretty raw and gritty. Um, then we got False Hope Cruelty in 2017. Really solid release. You can kind of hear a maturity of this band as you go through their discography. And then in 2020, we got Habitats, which is just another another phenomenal phenomenal release by this band. You know, really, again, kind of stepping up the maturity in their songwriting, which leads us to Jaws of Janus. All right, so what do you get with Jaws of Janus from Revenge Prevails? Uh, again, this is an EP, just came out last month. Um, and first off, just talking about the artwork, um, I really enjoyed the, uh, the Janus uh, depiction here. The two-headed Roman deity, or two-faced, I guess you could say, you know, however you want to look at it. But Janus is the god of, uh, you know, doorways and, you know, opening passages and, you know, opening gates to, like, to start new paths, things like that. Um, so I thought it was a clever way to describe what you get with this EP, which is a deviation from their normal style, so, so to speak. Going through the jaws of Janus, going through the gate to, you know, experiment and try something new. You get something that, again, with a band that's usually really gritty, heavy, black and death metal, melodic, you know, tinges here and there, to something that's got a lot of progressive elements and, uh, you know, some experimentations with some softer melodies and, you know, some clean guitars. And um, Sarah's clean vocals on this were phenomenal. So, again, you know, I thought it was a clever way to kind of sedgeway into what the, you're getting with these three tracks. And that's something new from the band, you know, trying a few things out here and there. But, yeah, again... Revenge Prevails, Jaws of Janus. Let's kind of break it down track by track. All right, let's start talking about the tracks and track one, Maul. What do you get there? Well, in my opinion, Maul is kind of the perfect way to baby step you into the exploration that they did with this EP. Again, it's, it's nothing so experimental, avant-garde, out of the box, but it's subtle things here and there that kind of changed a little bit. And I think this is a great way to kind of introduce that. Again, normally really heavy, just brutal black and death metal. And this one kind of starts off a little different. It's kind of a slow, haunting, kind of reverby ambient intro. These are like really creepy, like demonic vocals kind of chanting and chattering over it. And there's this really quiet, kind of, you know, slow picked melodic guitar lead going through there, which slowly kind of builds up into the track's first riff, which to me was an awesome part of the song. I absolutely loved the, you know, when the first heavy guitar part started, it was kind of like a thrashy gallopy riff, dun, 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 you know, kind of, kind of thing. Um, throughout this track, I didn't pick up a whole lot of death metal vibes. Usually they have a lot more death sprinkled in, but this to me for the mo like the first three quarters of it was just an insane black metal track, really good tempo changes. You had some tremolos, you had some dissonance, and then you had some like gallops and things like that, that kind of throwed a lot of different styles together again kind of leading to you know their their experimental side and so you get this amazing three quarters of a black metal track and then boom pumps the brakes and you go slow down to this like angelic almost soft kind of um you know tempo change like melodic again almost angelic but also kind of creepy and chaotic at the same time with isabella just absolutely slaughtering the clean vocals I would, uh, if I did have one criticism, I would like to hear maybe some more her vocals throughout. Um, but, uh, but no, well done again. And her vocals just, just kind of add to this like hauntingness. They just not really somber, but it kind of just adds another layer of atmosphere on top of this really just kind of, again, it's like a sad, but angelic kind of, you know, melody that's going on. It's really good. Um, and I just realized, I think early in this video, I called Isabella Sarah. So I do apologize for that. If I remember to fix that, I will. But if not, I do feel terrible. I am sorry. 
but yeah, so great black metal track, which kind of just completely does a 180 the last few minutes with these like chilling kind of progressive clean melodies with uh, these amazing um, uh, vocals from Isabella. So well done. I really enjoyed track one, but let's uh, move on to the next one. All right, quickly moving on to track two, Dungeon. Um, again, another pretty solid track. A lot of really good black metal elements involved. Um, I really enjoyed the drums uh, more so on this track. Um, kind of how um, the first track had that uh, main first riff. It was kind of gallopy chuggy. Um, the kick drums kind of matched that on track two. Just kind of a quick like gallopy, gallopy rhythm. I really enjoyed that. Uh, again, solid guitar work across, great vocals from, from Yosef again. Um, a lot more tempo changes in this one. Like you have the main riff kind of going with these dissonant melodies over it, which if you listen closely, you can hear, you know, multiple layers. You can kind of hear some of those little new twinges here and there that they've been, uh, you know, going for with the, the progression and things like that. So well done, incorporated some cool things throughout the track. Um, but there, yeah, there's some really cool tempo changes. So if you can go to this kind of, you know, mid to up tempo black metal section, and then it kind of slows down, gets really heavy, and Yosef's vocals just go straight like old school Morbid Angel, you know, really cool sections. Then it kind of bounces back and forth throughout. So again, well done. Um, kind of going back to what I said at the beginning of the video, this band shows more maturity each time they release something. So they, they learn a little bit more about their music. They learn more about their instruments and their vocal capabilities, things like that. And I think track two shows that because there are a lot of different, like I said, tempo changes, vocal styles change, things like that. And then again, throughout the song, you start to get more and more of Isabella's clean singing kind of riddled in throughout. And again, pretty solid track. Um, if, you know, kind of sticking, you know, Kind of crit the only criticism I had for track one is I would have liked to have heard more of Sarah. Um, almost did it again. Isabella's vocals. Um, if I had to give a critique to track two, um, I think it would have been cool to maybe hear her get a little raspy, you know, get a little gnarly, and kind of try to match Yosef's intensity a little bit. Like not throughout. I think it would have killed her clean part. But maybe throughout the track when you hear those little layers with the, the leads and stuff, maybe throw her in there here and there. I think that would have made it that much better. But again, really solid black metal track with, uh, you know, not a whole big deviation away from what you would expect. And they managed to throw in some of that death metal punch here and there with the vocals and stuff. So really solid track. One more track to go. Track three, Sculptor. All right. So final track, Sculptor. And this was the track I was not expecting. Um, to where tracks one and two uh, kind of give you, you know, a lot of great black metal, some death metal elements, uh, things like that with minor changes, you know, little progressive leads or, you know, melodies, things like that with the clean vocals. And this one just kind of smacks you with it. You get so many tempo changes, it's complete stylistic changes throughout the song. Like I said, at the beginning of the track, I thought maybe I skipped over to a different band at first. I mean, it was really kind of melodic chill you know some something you would have heard you know years ago from you know like a progressive rock band or something like that and then Isabella's clean vocals kick in and then I was like all right we're back where we belong and the it stylistically just goes crazy like from there it goes into like some cool black metal you know and the vocalists kind of you know share a little bit here and there switching back and forth um and then the guitars and drums again phenomenal work the tempo changes, you know, it kind of goes from like, you know, a, a mid up tempo black metal to this like, you know, clean, you know, progressive, clean, melodic stuff. And then, you know, towards the end, you get this crazy grindy riff, this heavy tremolo, and, you know, it kind of sinks you back into what Revenge Prevails typically does. So, yeah, I was not ready for that track. I'm not, not a bad thing at all. It just I took me a minute to wrap my head around what I just listened to. I had to spend a few few spins on that track to really get it and again what extremely well done and i would kind of lump my criticisms and they're not really even criticisms i really enjoyed this ep um things i would like to see if they continue down this path again maybe isabella getting a little nastier with her vocals at times to kind of you know give yosef um not competition but something that would complement and match the intensity and still give her clean parts as well. 
because I thought the clean parts were amazing. Uh, she has an incredible voice. But uh, yeah, um, from here, like I said, this was kind of baby steps into progressive and experimentation. I thought Sculptor had by far more than any other track. Um, if they continue down this path, I would like to see them, you know, continue to grow on that and try new things on top of that and really expand. But I kind of have a feeling this was kind of a, a one and done type of thing that they wanted to just experiment with throughout COVID, things like that. Because, like I said, this is 2023. Uh, the full length before this was 2020. So they had three years to work on this. And I think they were just kind of biding their time, working on a few things, you know, experimenting, you know, seeing what else they could do. But I kind of feel like they're going to come back and just absolutely get brutal as hell and just balls to the wall, black and death metal. And that's kind of what I'd like to see. I would like them to come back to, you know, their typical style, melt our faces off a little bit, and then maybe sprinkle this in a little bit, you know, throughout their discography after that. But yeah, overall, if I had to rank this, I would still probably put this eight and a half, nine out of 10. Um, oh, compared to the rest of the discography, discography I still think Dark uh, Trembling Solace is my favorite. And then probably Habitats is close second. And then I would have a hard time placing this or False Hope Cruelty, you know, in that third place spot. They're pretty much neck and neck, but for different reasons. So again, uh, Yosef and the band, thank you so much for sending this over for me to check out. Um, it's definitely something I would have went out and purchased on my own. Um, again, I was kind of impressed. I was expecting, you know, something completely different, especially on that last track. And... I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, so, yeah, keep up the good work. Um, lots more videos coming. Um, hails and horns, and we'll see you soon.